yes this continuation from the concourse sorry for the break in transmission what i was saying was that from the last two sentences the government has failed in providing a regular power supply the last is the government fails woefully in terms of delivering the so-called dividends of democracy you can see in the last two sentences a singular aspect of the verb is being used and that had to do with has failed another one is fails so whenever you know that a particular word may be used as a singular entity at the same time as a plural entity you have to be very careful furthermore it is pertinent to state here that notional concord is mainly associated with collective nouns. Later one wonders why some grammarians tagged it collective noun concord. It often seems confusing, but the simple logic is that if collective noun performs action, comma, it takes a plural verb. But if not, a singular verb follows. Example, the audience was not delighted. <laughs> Example two, the audience were partial in the selection of the beautiful queens. Now let's look at another segment. And this segment is called Problematic Areas of Concord. Now, you have gotten all the rules that pertain to concord, but there are areas with tact problematic. If you don't take time, and if you are not careful, you'll be broken the concord. And for that reason, we have to examine the problematic areas of concord in solution and even sources of the problem. The first thing we want to look at is that if you fail to establish the number of the subject, there's going to be a problem. So number one, failure to establish the number of the subjects. Under that, we have the subjects joined by end usually take plural verbs. Example, Okocha and Martens are friends. Ese and Chingwe go to school. However, when both subjects refers to the same person, the verb is singular. Example, the president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces leaves for USA tomorrow. Another one, a husband and boss forbids illicit affairs. If you look at the two sentences above and the two sentences below, we have four sentences. The first one had to do with Okocha and Martins, are friends, and the second one had to do with Ese and Chingwe. The third and the fourth one had to do with the president and commander, and the second one had to do with her husband and boss. Oh, Kocha and Martins are different persons. Eze and Ching were different persons. And they are not understood to be the same person. And that is why the verb used are in the plural form. That is are and go. But in the second phase, we have the president and commander-in-chief, a husband and boss. Now, the president and commander-in-chief, these two are understood to be the same person. A husband and boss, these two are understood to be the same person. It's like saying my brother and friend. My brother and friend, these two are understood to be the same. The secretary and treasurer, these two are understood to be the same. Snacks and ladders, these two are understood to be the same. Early to bed and early to Rise. These two are understood to be the same. So they must go 
with a singular aspect. That is the law. That is the rule. Is that understood? Okay. Now let's go to the B part. When one of the subjects, you can write it down as a law. When one of the subjects is singular and the other plural, or when they differ in person, the verb agrees with the nearer one. Of course, if you are my student, this law is in tandem with the concord of proximity. For example, neither Tom nor I am able to attend the party. Another one, either you or Paul is to go. If you look at these two sentences, for you to get it right, you must do what we call synthetic elimination. Of course, either you or Paul, Paul is in the singular form. And that is why it goes with the verb is. But if I am to reverse it, I can now say either Paul or you. The verb to use there will change to are, not is, any longer. That is how to go about it. Now let's move to another law under problematic area of concord. A singular verb followed immediately by phrases such as, in addition to, including, with, as well as, no less than, and together with, takes a singular verb. Example, the president with his five ministers visits Enugu State tomorrow. The teacher, as well as his students, is here. You can see that the teacher, as well as his student, students is in the plural, but it doesn't accept the plural as of the verb because the, the verb. <laughs> is singular and it is followed by these phrases and that had to do with what the teacher as well as so you need to understand what is going on here otherwise you'll be making a mistake now let's move to another one let's call it d or you can call it number four rule under problematic a singular subject followed by a plural modifier still requires a singular verb. Example, the leader of Niger Delta militants has been captured. Example two, one of the students in the back row looks ill. Look at the verb used there. They are in the word, in the singular form. Now let's move to another one, number five, or you can call it E, but please take note of this one. John would definitely they would definitely bring a question from this aspect. Indefinite pronouns such as anyone, anybody, each, everyone, everything, everybody, no one, nobody, and nothing often takes a singular verb. Example, everybody is expected at the party. Everyone knows him as a criminal. Nobody is in the house. Nothing is impossible before God. Please take note of that. If a collective noun, like family, team, jury, gang, group, and class, takes a singular verb when it functions as a unit, and a plural verb when the members function as individuals. Example, the school staff is holding a meeting. The family holds an annual reunion. The jury has given its verdict. Another law. Nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning take singular verb. These types of nouns include economics, physics, statistics, mathematics, politics, ethics, news, etc. We can see examples as follows. Politics is a dirty game in Nigeria. Economics is an interesting subject. Statistics deals with facts and figures. Measles is a deadly disease. The news is a sad one. We move to another point. Period of time, unit of money, 
measurements and weights are mostly taken as a single unit and therefore take a singular verb as can be seen in the following examples. 7,500 Naira is too poor as a minimum wage. 5 kilometers is not too long a distance. 40 years is a long period. Another law, the literary works, newspaper, fame, and so on take a singular verb. The example, things fall apart, is an exciting novel. Another one, the Daily Times is a national newspaper. We are done with segment one. Segment two had to do with failure to identify the true subject. Under that we have A, so you can write it. Maybe you can use one. When the subject follows the verb, especially, put that in bracket, in sentences starting with there is, stroke R, comma, utmost attention is needed to determine the subject and to make sure that it agrees with the verb. This may be seen as follows. There is only one good aspirants. Another one. There are several good aspirants. Another one. On the wall were several posters. We move to another law. On the failure to identify the true subject. The complement of the verb to be does not affect the number of the verb. I repeat. The complement of the verb to be does not affect the number of the verb. Example, books are her chief source of enjoyment. I repeat, books are her chief source of enjoyment. Example two, her chief source of enjoyment is books. You can see that the complement of the verb to be does not affect the number of the verb. Another law under failure to identify the true subject, a phrase modifying the subject does not influence the number of the verb. Example, the car with the two flat tires is mine. I repeat, the car with the two flat tires is mine. Finally, on that concord, take note of this one. This is the one that Jan normally used in deceiving students. But today, you will tell them that you have known something before now. When the subject of a verb is a relative pronoun, the verb agrees with the antecedent of the pronoun. When the subject of the verb is a relative pronoun, the verb agrees with the antecedent of the pronoun. As in, the man is one of the lecturers who teach very well. The man is one of the lecturers who teach very well. If you see the verb used there, it is in the plural form. Because who is a relative pronoun. So from the law, when the subject of a verb is a relative pronoun, the verb must agree with the antecedent of the pronoun. And what do you understand by antecedent? Antecedent of a pronoun is the noun that the pronoun represents. So on that note, I strongly believe with this, you will not struggle in the course of answering questions that pertain to concord. So have a wonderful day.